favorite class of poi moves, and today we're diving into them. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, and if you've seen any of my flow videos at all, you'll know that I absolutely adore hybrids. Today, I'm counting down my top five. Please join my notification squad by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know exactly when I drop a new video. I'd also like to send out a quick thank you to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about each of them by following the links down in the description of this video. So what exactly is a hybrid? Well, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to define it as any repeating pattern in which each poi is performing a different shape or pattern in such a way that there's still a clear relationship between each hand and each poi head. I will also say this video is going to be a little different from my other list videos. See, there are so many hybrids out there that rather than try to narrow it down to five favorites, I split them up into five categories. See, hybrids come in so many different varieties that I could have frankly made an entire video on any of the categories that I'm going to cover here. But hopefully that means we'll also cover a lot more ground with this list. Now granted, there's a lot of overlaps between a lot of these categories, but hopefully it'll go to show the connections between different frameworks for spinning. So with all that said, let's dive in. Let's start this off with the hybrids that first got me into tech poi spinning, the unit circle hybrids. In a now legendary post on tribe.net, tech poi guru Alien John created one of the first frameworks for understanding poi hybrids when he bundled together all the hybrids that could be performed around a hand path the size of an isolation. This created not just a framework for bundling a lot of hybrids together, but also tools for transitioning between them. It was a major step forward for the tech poi community. There's cat eye versus extension, which is even more fun because you can make your hands perform a figure eight between neighboring hand paths, giving you a great transition tool. There's also the legendary cat eye versus isolation, a trick which at one point was considered a rite of passage for new tech spinners. But for my number five pick, I'm gonna give it to the one that started it all, extension versus isolation in the hands together position. Legend has it that Andy House created this hybrid after playing around with a meteor and realized he could get one end to isolate while the other end was performing an extension around it. The technique was adapted to poi and it opened up a brand new world of poi tricks, pasting together two different tricks to create something brand new and really interesting. It was also the first time a trick had been invented where it could be said that it possessed two different timing and directions. The poi are spinning in split time same direction and the hands are in together same. Now I rarely use this trick myself, but I also can't deny how huge an impact it's had on the world of poi spinning. Once there was a concept and an idea to point to, tech poi enthusiasts were off to the races to find more hybrids. Next up, let's talk Vulcan Tech Gospel or VTG hybrids. That is, hybrids made out of flowers that share the same number of downbeats. These hybrids are super useful for making transitions in ways that keep the timing and direction of the poi constant while the timing and direction of your hands change. And if you'd like to know more about these, I actually did a whole video on Vulcan Tech Gospel a few years ago that includes some pretty nifty animations. I'll go ahead and link to that in the cards as well as the description. One of the benefits of VTG hybrids is that they can be broken down in a way that is easily systematized and shows you new tricks to learn. For example, I can learn to perform a three pedal anti-spin versus one pedal in-spin with my hands in together same together opposite, split time opposites, or split time same direction. These also lend themselves well to body tracing hybrids such as the Nevisol, a box mode four pedal anti-spin versus two pedal in-spin that includes points that feel both like crossers and windmills. But I've really got to give this one to four pedal anti-spin versus two pedal in-spin with the hands in split time opposites and the poi in split time same direction for my number four pick. There is something about this hybrid that is just so pleasing to the eye, and it's not terribly difficult to learn. Plus which, I have a transition I really love doing with it, where I switch to horizontal buzz saws on either side. Good stuff. Next, we're going to talk about another type of hybrid that Alien John classified back in the day composite hybrids. What's a composite? Well, think of it this way. All the hybrids we've talked about thus far involve each hand completing a single and unbroken pattern. Composite hybrids are those hybrids that involve patterns that have been cut and pasted together. In other words, this is the category that for the first time includes caps or continuous assembly patterns. It's actually really surprising how many hybrids this category actually covers. It describes things like 1.5s where you're actually cutting apart pendulums and one pedal inspin flowers. And it also describes one of my favorite hybrids of all time, Pendulum versus Cap. This is a foundational hybrid that I use constantly. And if you're ready for me to blow your mind, it also covers my number three pick, Pendulum versus Triketra. Now, everyone who's attempted to learn this trick knows that it comes with kind of a dark secret. Doing this hybrid almost feels like you're learning to do a Triketra all over again. 
And that's because you are, or at the very least, you're doing something different than you would with any other Triketra. The Triketra in this hybrid involves taking a box mode four pedal anti-spin flower and cutting off the top two pedals. Then you replace them with a single pedal or a linear isolation. And this is why that timing feels so incredibly tricky to nail when you're learning it. You're performing what's basically a cap instead of a true flower. Want to really nail the presentation on this one? Try and get the poi to line up in a horizontal line to either side of the trick. It'll really make that pendulum across the top pop. Next up, we're taking a look at my favorite type of hybrid. It's time for anti-brids. Now, whatever the term originally meant, it's come to be a synonym for what used to be called head orbiting moves. That is, where there's a point of contact between one poi head and the opposite hand. Hybrids that fit into this category include a cousin of our number one pick, isolation versus extension with the hands apart rather than together. You can also do an anti-brid version of my number three pick, triketra versus pendulum. To do this, the triketra hand is going to be even with the pendulum poi head the entire way around. Mel was actually the first one to capture this one on video, and it's still a classic. It also applies to the isolation versus cat eye that we talked about way back in the unit circle section. But for my number two pick, we're going to go with this trick's much more difficult cousin. Horizontal cat eyes are hard enough, but when you combine them with isolations, you have a recipe for both hours of frustration and total wow factor. Nailing this trick is what made me feel like I'd finally arrived as a tech spinner. Whether it's nailing the relationship between the isolated poi head and the cat eye hand, or just the sheer impossibility of seeing a cat eye tipped over onto its side like this. This hybrid is one of those few tech tricks that even muggle audiences appreciate. For our final category, we're going to dive into another favorite of mine, polyrhythm hybrids. Now, we've already featured quite a few polyrhythm hybrids on this list, but they definitely have the distinction of being one of the most popular kinds of hybrids in use in the poi world. Polyrhythm hybrids are distinguished by mashing up two patterns that have different numbers of downbeats, making for hybrids that really test the boundaries of a poi spinner's ability to find a happy medium between the two. Static Spin versus Triketra may have actually been the first hybrid I learned that fit into this category, and I still consider it one of the best poi tricks for long exposure photography. For a brain-breaking polyrhythm that really stretches our ideas Idea of what these hybrids should be, check out Static Spin versus Pentagram. It actually takes two repetitions of this hand path for the pattern to complete. But for my number one pick, it could only ever be the trick that launched a thousand profile pictures, the Mercedes, or Extension versus Triketra. Why is this trick so amazing? Well, for one, it passes the poi through multiple combinations of timing and direction in a way that's not only easy to pick out, but also lends itself well to transitions between together time and split time opposites. But beyond that, there's just something about this trick that looks so satisfying, whether you can make out the trails or not. The way the poi heads meet and separate, or the fact that it's performed on such a huge canvas, making it visible from far away. The Mercedes is one of the most recognizable poi tricks of all time, and that's why it's my number one pick for the greatest poi hybrid. Thanks so much for watching. Before I turn you loose, I just wanted to thank all of my awesome supporters on Patreon for making this video and all the videos on this channel possible. If you'd like to sign up to support this channel, please head on over to Patreon patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. Thanks in advance. So what did you think of my list? Do you wish any of these categories had been their own list? Please let me know down in the comments, and of course, let me know what your favorite hybrid is. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share to see more videos like this in the future, and of course to help the channel grow. Also be sure to check out some of my other videos. Thanks again for watching, and enjoy the flow. Peace.